And we're back. The party has been healed. Spell points have been gotten back, and then, in Vic's case, spent. Power cures were cast at a ridiculous price before using the box of power curing, which has been a very good convenience. I have seen duplicates of other magic items I've been using. Uh, daily sorcery is something I have spotted uh, in time off camera, but power curing, that's a... It's been one that's been with us for a long time, and I have not found a duplicate for. You may enter, but be warned. None shall leave alive. Great. Wonderful. Welcome to the Southern Sphinx. And I wasn't joking. Power cure. 350 spell points. That continues the scale to the moon, as have our hit points. So, I really have to go through a lot. And I actually cast that. Multiple castings to heal the party. Or, you know, recharge item. It's not like I'm running out of gems anytime soon. Alright, Southern Sphinx. This dungeon is a bastard. This is the last actual dungeon you gotta do in order to clear the post game. Uh, the Dungeon of Death is the only other dungeon. And that is definitely bonus material that Sandro made available for us. And we will do it after Southern Sphinx. This is the last one. But what does it contain? Hell is what it contains. Complete agony. The preservation room here. We have barrels. Nothing. The, the right head there is saying that no, there are no prizes in there. How about in here? Presumably we're going to need someone with huge might. No one here eclipses 200, except for Necroloto. She's capped out. So, we have a ghost mummy. <laughs> Goodbye, ghost mummy. Now Necroloto is cursed. Minus 25. For real. In your damn mind. Sarcophagus, who will search this? Vic will find a longsword. It is an obsidian longsword. Now, here is where I check the minutia of... Broadsword versus Longsword. Broadsword is 3d4, Longsword is 3d3. Okay. Broadsword remains. Good. Good intel. Good intel. Good intel. Great. Cudgel. Is that an Obsidian Cudgel? You better believe it, it's Obsidian Cudgel. And if I want to open up any more of these things... Well, no. Necrolo 2 can open up one more. We don't want to drop to zero luck or below, folks. That threatens instant death. Barrel of nothing. Of bitter disappointment. Get the dark side of Zine clouds there on the map. This is capturing. Huzzah. Hmm. That's foreboding. Let's not go that way just yet. We'll head into this preservation room. Tiny shop will take damage from that trap. Just normal barrels. Okay. Open this up. It's another ghost. You know, look at how happy Tiny Shop is. Stop being that happy. Cloak. Ah! Oh no, you're diseased a little bit. Not just, not just cursed. Is that an obsidian cloak? It's a Dyna cloak. <laughs> I'm like, hey, something I can put on here. Dyna cloak. Get the hell out of here. That does resistances, right? Like, doesn't that air resist? Yeah, it's electric resist. I mean, it's 25 resist. Cool. Great. I'll get right on that, chum. Think of things I was going to get right on. Divine intervention. 200 spell points. And of course, some magic aging. That's your reward, plate armor. Ooh, it's ectoplasmic plate armor. Well, you know, ectoplasmic does add a bunch of magic resist, which could have been helpful for me in the last fucking dungeon. <laughs> so it goes. Another harrowing trap. 
We're not even in October yet, but it is totally spooky time. Slay that ghost mummy. That reminds me. Did I swap that out? Yeah, I did. Okay. Embalming fluid? The heads are like, don't do it. I agree. Here's a magic flame. I'm pretty sure I remember that being a dick. Normal barrel. Super embalming fluid. The right head's like, yes. Yes. All right. Two million experience points in exchange for that. Good, good. That helps to close the gap that uh, you were suffering from uh, after the Mega Dragon fight. Yeah, that's the great news. The bad news. That's never getting used. I, I just, <laughs> whoa! Two million experience. Ah. Yeah. So, now that I've shown that off, if I find any other barrels of super embalming fluid, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be rubbing them. I just got a Divine Intervention out of the way. Yeah, just go ahead and Divine Intervention out of the way. Alright. But two million gold, I can protect you from the chopping death. Will you pay? Not enough gold in the party. So, if you say no to this guy, oops, this guy, this fucking candle, uh, you are teleported into trap hell. Uh, but if you do pay, the tramps are stopped, and then you are offered another deal. You'll be given a clue uh, for one million gold. And if you pay that, um, if memory serves, the, the, the flame says there's one born every minute. As in, a, there's a sucker born every minute. As in, you've been duped. As in, fuck you, New World Computing. Embalming fluid. For two million, gonna protect you from the swinging death. There's not enough gold in the party. Barrel and super embalming fluid. Again, like, why? Just so I could make number go burr? I think I'm good. Think we have the number I need to go is my gold. All right, it's jump time. We're bringing jump back. Yeah, jump. Hey, we made good use of jump at dark side. Fucking dungeon's not allowing me to do things like teleport. Hello. All right, what do we win? It's a grand axe. I'm sort of city and grand axe. Which, uh, let me, let me check the math real quick on that. That's a 3d6 and a great axe is 3d7. Great is better than grand. But, uh, halberd is 3d6. So would I take 3d6 or 3d6? 3d6 or 3d6? Or at least the book is right. 3d6 or 3d6? Or 3d6 or 3d6? But a battle axe? That's 3d5. And 3d6 compared to 3d5? Now we're in business. <laughs> Alright. Very good. I ran the numbers. Boo! <laughs> you hear the sound they made? Hmm, interesting. I was gonna throw out a holy word if I made it to one of the paladins. We didn't make it to one of the paladins. Alright. The Grand Axe. Ah, well. We have another Obsidian Grand Axe. I don't know. I like, I like using a halberd, and I'm fine with the shields I've got equipped. So we'll let it be. Let it be. I checked that barrel already. That barrel's got nothing good for us. It's another sarcophagus. Another ghost mummy. You're in. It's a ring! What's the ring about? Tell me a story. It's a kinetic ring. Hey! Uh, you know, more energy resist! I, uh, 
I don't think this is... I don't think that's relevant or pertinent anymore. But there's got to be a shitty ring I've got equipped right now, like Defender Ring. That said, we are able to make use of the armor class right now. We're, we're going to take this moment here to enjoy fucking around with, uh, with equipment again. For old time's sake. Let's see, the Precision Ring. How much does Precision add? It's 15. 15's pretty good. Nah, yeah, that is mattering. That is mattering. How about you? You gotta have a cruddy ring. Yeah, leadership ring? Who needs leadership in these dark times? <laughs> That's plus 17. That's giving you a few more spell points. I mean, I mean, that could be pretty good. How about you? What kind of rings you got? A marksman and a precision ring. Your rings I'm not touching. Your rings I'm not touching. We look at armor class totals. Kaelin is the one who's leading an armor class. Now, well, thanks to things. So sure. Kinetic ring. So much energy resist. And if I swap on that, uh, that kinetic shield, even more energy resist. Oh, it's great stuff. Great stuff. Hello, Divine Intervention. Indeed, we've got a whole bevy of instruments of death. Another two million experience. Which way do I feel like going? Well, it looks like this route is... I'm going to go back over here to the right. Yep. Yep. See what's going on over here. I don't like that sound. It's the sound of like normally something to be like, well, all of your spell boards have been drained. Organ beads. You doing good, buddy? He looks great. Home of the aged. Be gone, cursed ones. Yeah. Yeah, that floor is there to, like, make sure you pathfind through this. Ha ha. So that's actually my way up. Uh, but it wasn't the case of the Northern Sphinx. There's a way down. And I suppose I've, I guess I should have just uh, stayed with the left. We're not going to be bothering to pathfind through this. Actually, this is a good thing to test here. I am willing to do another Divine Intervention cast. I gotta keep in mind, I don't have that much time left. Let's, uh... 67 here. Okay. Cool. That's what I wanted to test. So, in the unpatched Macintosh version, this zone reads you as cursed no matter what. Uh, but I am running the official 1.2 patch uh, World of Zine on Macintosh, and that resolves the bug that prohibited you from going up there, even if you weren't, cur weren't cursed. I believe I got a complaint, at least one remark about that in the comments for the series, that uh, someone uh, ran into this situation and got busted. It's because you don't have a patched version. All right. Let's open last game. And back through here we go. How you doing, bud? You're looking great. You're looking great. We'll get that cleaned up. He says he runs right through that. It's good to see how much damage that can do. You know, it doesn't make attack rolls against us. That would be... That'd be silly. Ah. That's what I get for rotating to, like, look at what's going on over there. What's so interesting? Hmm. Yeah. Party nearly went down from all that damage. 
It could have been helpful for me to leave a, uh, the Lloyd's Beacon. I don't recall whether I have to go talk to the, 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 uh, the Pharaoh, the Emperor, or the Guardian again. Oh, well. We can, we can stomach some more damage. With our handy dandy box of power cure, the world is our oyster. And we have a few in-game hours left before my buffs, my level 50, is killed. Been a very productive day for the crew. Onyx Golems, Southern Sphinx. Here's where we're rocketing towards the end. What the fuck? <laughs> that was quite a few casts of, you know, an ass load of spell points each. Oh, but Krimith, that's because, you know, you're a paladin instead of a cleric. Yeah, okay, I'd have double the spell points if I were a cleric instead of a paladin. Good luck casting all those spells, Jummer. Or that's what resting is for. <laughs> this is being read as level three, instead of whatever. Strange runes read, study the lessons to learn my name. Great. We enjoyed that so much. Speaking of things we enjoyed so much, you remember the dragon mummies from uh, Castle Calendra Dungeon? We left the, uh, the pair in there. <laughs> Yeah. They're here. Super Dragon Embalmer. Five levels permanently. Uh, pretty sure I can teleport in this dungeon. I mean, we're on the cloud side. Of course we should be able to teleport. Indeed, we can. Super Dragon Embalmer, who gets levels? You get levels. There we go. Treasure. I'm going to say it before I interact with this. It was an illusion, and angry voice booms. No one steals from me. <laughs> Instant death. Instant party wipe. Yep. Thanks, New World Computing. <laughs> Good. Good. Glad I remembered that one. Great. Great. Wonderful. Uh, I believe there is one treasure pile in the Southern Sphinx that you can interact with. That is not an illusion that leads to immediate instant total party wipe. And I believe it's over there. So... And I believe it's this pile. It is. Two million gold and stuff. A lot of stuff. Everything else, done. Obsidian broadsword, another obsidian grand axe. Well, I mean, the broadsword math, it checked out. I've studied under the great uh, mathematics professor, scholar, Scott Steiner. And uh, broadsword versus longsword checks out. As for armor, obsidian ring mail, I mean, we've got obsidian across the board. Obsidian scale armor, obsidian plate mail, obsidian plate mail, obsidian chain mail, obsidian chain mail. Oh, but Grimoth, it's obsidian other stuff. It's plate mail. Yeah, we've got plate mail. It's fine. A leprechaun's ring. Okay. A bunch of luck. Yeah. We can teleport over there. We'll come back to it being over here. I suppose. Um. See if I can find any more dragon mummies before my plus 50 levels fades. Don't feed the dragons. Good. Good. Good tip. R. Seem to give a lesson about the letter R. Good. We'll go this way. Hello. I 
I don't think Holy Word works on dragon mummies. I believe they are read as, uh, as dragons and not undead, and you can't be both. So dragon sleep should work on them, and obviously we got spell casting that we could throw down too, but we are team beatdown. A. Ah! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Concerns. Concern. Holy word? Nope. Okay. Understood. What? Mass distortion. There we go. Great. Great. I probably should have targeted someone that was like, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's a good thing we have all of this armor class. Because as a refresher course, flips open to Dragon Mummy, they deal 2,000 to 4,000 physical damage. If that's not bad enough, they're uh, immune to cold and poison, 80% resistant to electricity, 90% resistant to physical attacks. Dragon Sleep works against them. Yeah. Yeah, great. Great, wonderful. Joyous. Okay, she can't fully kill. That's fine. Ah! Whew! How are we looking, team? Been better? Been better? Been worse? Been worse. How bad's that disease that was put on you? One. Okay. <laughs> okay. More super embalmer fluid. Another five levels permanently. If memory serves, uh, Olympus's level cap is level 200. Continue to share the wealth. C. Yep, yep. Got a little bit of time left. What's going on over there? Why? We'll save three. Oh, it's two. Fucked it again. All right. And pork and beans. Everyone getting five levels permanently? I. Hello. That, uh, that clump of dragon mummy, that was real fun. Real harrowing. We're able to handle the solo ones pretty, pretty damn well. It's those, uh, it's those clumps, he says, frowning deeply. Okay, we managed to get that fight right in near the end. I'm gonna be better off spending my remaining time, uh, healing, because when the levels go away, like, I'll still have all the bonus HP as well. Temporary HP. As bonus HP. As temporary HP. As temporary bonus HP. Some would say. Many would argue. Okay. P. Next, we'll give this to Necro Lotu. This is her reverse harem situation. Everyone's weakened. They'll get over it. I have been running uh, all the elemental protections that I could. I don't think that's necessary. Right now, just a bunch of physical damage.
And yeah, not having the extra levels and extra might really does make a difference. Yeah. Suspicious alcove, which leads to nothing. All right. Our true levels. Whoop. Give that to you as well. Looks like there were enough drinks. There are ten in total. You could see the value in having a smaller party and being able to pile more stat-ups. Or, you know, if I just focus-fired all of them on, say, the sorcerer. We have made two million gold pieces here only because I knew the one treasure pile that wasn't an illusion. Huzzah. And what happened there? Why well, have why are you not why are you not scrolling interacting anymore? But, but, did you crash game? Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Either uh well I can't get the Mac things responsive either. So, I, uh, I dare say, um, my Macintosh has crashed. There I go trying to scroll down through things. Ah! Hate. Next time, everyone, I, uh, <clears throat> I get this all cleaned up. And then we see the tippy top. It'll be a short video. But that'll be next time, as I said. Damn it.